What is up everyone, it is Speed here, and today we are going to be looking at a ancient average game. Well, I should say more so like Legend 5 average game, and we're going to be seeing, has everyone caught up to the meta? Are people adjusting to the recent patches, right? Are they doing what I think they should be doing? And also, I'm hopefully going to be giving you guys a major briefing on what they're doing correct, what they're doing wrong, so you can implement it into your games as soon as possible as well. So yeah, Legend average game. Let's hop into it, and of course, like the video and subscribe to help our channel grow. Support over the last month has been fantastic. It's probably been the best month in, I'm not going to say a year, but since like the last TI, this has been the best performing month, which is awesome. Thank you everyone so much for your support. It means the world. I'll try to every single day continue to create a video so you guys can get better at the game of Dota. And uh, yeah, now let's hop right into it. And signing up to the GameLeap.com website where I'm posting videos every single day. Every single day, literally every single day, trying to tell you guys how to get good at Dota. Like, you know, you know, I played a game, I've played it for a while, I reached 7.5k MMR, and I'm here to tell you exactly how you can get to that rank as well. Well, over there, in the link down below. So, we got the Wraith King going here. <laughs> little, little Wraith King, and I'm gonna quickly analyze the drafts. We got a Wraith King, ET, CM, Wind Ranger, Magnus against Pudge, Sniper, Lion, Lifestealer, Bristle. Now, obviously, I do favor one of these lineups. Uh, quite a bit more than the other and that is not to say that you know bristle and this lineup can't win however i think magnus wraith king as a combo in your typical pub whether that's like 7k and below will likely win right uh, and the reason why i think this is just because they scale well these heroes just scale well and empower with uh wraith king is one of the most absurd things you'll ever seen I, I saw this combo i think um oh who was picking it the team with chris luck on it i'm completely blanking out infamous i could be wrong but they picked this combo i believe during the tournament and the farm you can get is ridiculous like the farm you get is is way too insane you can get 13 14 minute radiances even in this new patch on wraith king which is just absurd within itself. So, yeah, let's get into the Wraith King gameplay. One thing I would say that I see him doing is buying an early Bracer. While I don't think this is terrible, I'm not a huge fan of the idea of, you know, really committing anything in the stats for Wraith King. Now, he is against a Pudge Bristle lane. Do I think he could go aggressive here? Absolutely. And I believe this is the Ancient player. I would really love to see him cast a couple stuns, especially on Pudge. Now, if Pudge ever overextends, I want to see the Pudge get stunned. So right here, if Pudge ever walks to right here, this is when he should get stunned. Why? Because he's in attack range of the range creeps and will take an absurd amount of damage. So, especially considering he has a Siamora and is against a Bristle, many stuns should be thrown. And this is something that I don't see most players do, which is basically adjust their spell usage upon matchups. Now here, I hope he stuns. Okay, good. Just keep attacking. Very good. Okay, good harassing. Um, and now he could do that many more times. And this is something that I see within even the ancient bracket. They still do not cast their spells enough. So... Here is Shidei to Tango, and once again, cast a stun. I can't stress this enough, and I will continue to stress this until the day I quit YouTube, which I hope is not for a while. <laughs> but here, just stun. Like, look at the mana pools of both these heroes. An 8-stick Clarity Siamora with a 7-stick Arcanora. You have to just throw out your abilities. You don't need to overcommit. You don't need to kill them. You don't even need to do more than 100 damage. But you should continuously try to do this. And, and this is where players, like, they don't win their lanes hard enough, right? Like, their core always on the back foot. Here, you should just pop his stick. It's a 10 stick, right? When you're against Bristleback, you don't need to bait with your stick. Most matchups, you don't instantly pop it. But against Bristle, you know you're going to get more charges. So you're better off just popping it anytime you have to. So I would have preferred to see him pop the stick instead of necessarily the south. And once again, there's just no stunts coming out. And a lot of you guys are going to say, oh... I can't believe this guy's ancient. I can't believe it. Yeah, obviously, I'm pointing out his flaws. He's doing a very good job last hitting. Is still stunning a decent amount. But guys, please, please, please use your resources. I genuinely don't get why people don't try to run out of mana. Your strategy should be to literally run out of mana when you are in lanes that you can win. Now, certain lanes, let's say you're playing Wraith King and you have, I don't know, a Pudge 5 and you're laning against Sand King Leshrac or Sand King Lina, it's very, very unlikely you are going to be able to do anything. Now here, I really wish he'd pop his stick by now. He's had a 10 charge for a while, and ugh, he could easily have had another 10. So yeah. And guys, I really want to point out one more main idea before I move on to another lane. As he, great, I love this so much. Great decision to man up with the skeletons. Definitely you can see that this Pudge is not as good as Wraith King, because Wraith King understands this is a winning trade for him. But... Every little efficiency is what matters in Dota, right? If you're trying to get to the next rank, stop thinking it's like, oh, insta-draft. Bristleback, if he plays this lane better and buys better items, maybe even takes a point in Goo and goes more aggressive, he probably could beat this Wraith King in lane, right? 
right? Especially considering the Wraith King doesn't even use his stick, right? Uh, but that's not how it goes. So that's why draft does not matter. If you are not 7k MMR, you should not think because your draft is bad that you're going to instantly lose. I can't stress that enough. Now here, we're actually seeing an offlane Magnus maxing Skewer and Empower. Okay. The Skewer, I mean, not that I think it's bad. I just personally, if, especially if I'm going to buy Mana Boots. Ugh. Ugh. I don't like that at all. Why? I mean, I, I guess you're maxing in power, but like, why are you going to buy Mana Boots if you're going to not take Shockwave? Like, the only reason I would consider... Oh, great deny. The only reason I would consider buying Mana Boots on this hero is if I was going to bam Shockwave to harass people in lane. But that's not what he's doing, right? Otherwise, I think I'd rather see him just go more of like a Soul Ring Ruth or some Bracers to win the lane. You know, like more of a lane winning build. Because Mana Boots, if you're not using them to spam spells, are just not really a... They're not a lane winning item, right? So he's losing pressure he could apply to this... this life stealer by going this item so not a fan of that also i'm curious to see and we'll kind of go a bit ahead with this this magnus when he starts jungling right because this is a big question you have to ask yourself like when do you start amplifying efficiency and the general answer i like to say is if you can't pressure your opponent anymore they're at the point where trying to pressure them will likely get you killed or make you just waste a lot of time okay then don't try to pressure them anymore especially if you're a hero that farms fast like magnus so yeah i wouldn't mind seeing him just cut the next wave or him drag the next wave to the large camp with the line being in the area, it is a bit dangerous though, so this is okay, but yeah, I, I don't like this build at all. I'm, I'm actually a huge anti-blink rush on Magnus, even in the offlane, yeah, even in the offlane. What would I rather see him go this game, you may ask? Well, I, could, I would love to see a mech. I think it's a great game to give your team some extra armor, right? You could go the Greaves build, like it's a fantastic Greaves game, absolutely incredible. Uh, you can perch Open Wounds Goo. And just giving your team extra armor here is great. You could go Vanguard. You could go Bracers with Treads and just right-click people to death. Right? With the Soul Ring. You know, you could go a lot of different builds that make you tanky. And what you do with this tanky item build is you defend towers. So you play Magnus as a tower defender. Now, why would you want to do that this game instead of just flash farming? Because you have a Wraith King, right? So what I would be considering is, okay, I have a Wraith King. I don't want to take all the safe jungle farm from him. Maybe see a very bad synergy. Ugh. Also, he does no right-click damage because he's items. But getting back to the point, I would love to see him enable his Wraith King here. And he might be thinking, oh, that's what the Mana Boots are for. I'll, like, defend with them. But you can see, he barely can trade. He's actually dead. I don't know what that was. Just manning up to his death. He, now he's lost his lane. And this is what I mean, guys. You can't make these mistakes. Oh my god, this guy's 5,000 matches played? Come on, man. And this is probably why. Like, it's just so game-losing to go, like, this build and... I don't know why I have two points in Skewer, it's just weird, instead of a point in Shockwave, like, Shockwave lets you Skewer people under tower anyway. Ugh, just hurts me, because it's not like he's even farming bad, you know, like, 49 CS, it's not, it's not great, but it's not terrible, right? It's definitely not what I would expect from, what is this, Crusader? I always forget. <laughs> Sorry guys, my memory is just a 1 out of 10. A oh, good, good RP, but it's not what I would expect, so. Yeah, I, I would just love to see this guy put more of a priority on, on right-click items. Oh my god, he's going for stuff. <laughs> Just be slightly tanky. Just be slightly tanky. Why would you build two items in a row? Three items, I would argue. Why would you build three items in a row that enable Skewer? Why would you make your entire game plan around Skewer? This is where players, they only look at their hero as the sole focus of their Dota game. All this Magnus is doing is saying, how do I enable my one thing that I'm going to do, which is Skewer people under tower and such, which is clearly what he seemingly is going to be doing. That's so bad. You need to look at the game state. If I'm him... What do I see? I see a bunch of heroes that I want to frontline for. I want to enable my CM. I want to enable my win, my, my ET to get in. So I, maybe I'll go some tanky items, right? Maybe I'll uh, buy an item that enables my Wraith King, such as a Crest or, or, a, or a Vlad's or a Crimson, right? It's not that you can't go Blink. It's not that you can't go Mobility. I, I just personally hate it so much with especially how they've been reworking. That Blink was not good. That was so far away. Oh, God. Some weird stuff going on right now. Dude, these blinks are so bad. Wait, wait, where are you going? Why are you blinking so far away? You don't even have skewer up. What are you? What? Skewer him. Skewer. Ah, no. I <laughs> oh, gosh, dang it. Let's move on. Let's check out on the Wraith King. How's he's doing? He's still laning. It's 12 minutes in. Why are you still laning? But this is what I mean, like, it, this player would do 10 times better and probably get the Divine if he just enabled himself to flash farm. Like, what has he been doing? Is he shutting down- It's not like he's shutting down Bristle! Bristle's the highest ever here in the game! What? Look at this Bristle, this is what we call an item build, man. Look at- look, Imagine if the Magnus bought this, he could actually trade with Lifestealer potentially, even though that's not necessarily the best matchup, like, in terms of just auto-attacking. He could at least pressure him. This is what I mean, like, this is why this guy's winning his lane. What rank is this guy? Okay, Archon 2. Is he a Smurf? 
Eh, maybe. Freak. Freak. I don't think he's that high MMR of a smurf because his last hits are trash. Like, they're really bad for 13 in. Uh, not really bad. They're just somewhat bad. Uh, but yeah, this is what I mean. Like, I don't know what this Wraith King's doing. Like, why is he still in lane? Why is he maxing out his W? Why did... Like, I love what this Bristle's doing so much. I love it. Let's go, Bristle. This is what I'm talking about, guys. This is how you freaking win Dota games. This is how you win Dota games. You can do this as a 4, a 5, a 3, a 2, a 1. I don't care. Pick a hero that you think can dominate in a 1v1 situation. Maybe pick some winning matchups. And then, buy some items that enable you to put some pressure. Oh god, he's dead. This Wind Ranger's level 14. Nice. That's a high level Wind Ranger. Oh my gosh, he almost died to Quills. Holy. I'm actually not even sure if you're supposed to rush MKB anymore on Wind. I guess Maelstrom the play now, just because of how expensive MKB is? Don't know. But yeah, I mean, I, I love what this guy's doing. Even though, even though he gets solo killed, even though he gets solo killed, and personally, I don't get why he's rushing pipe at all. Why did he rush pipe? How is this a pipe game? I mean, it's not that they don't do magical damage. Like, this guy's going to buy a Radiance. Um, they have CM and Power Shot and, like, MKB procs. It's not necessarily that pipe is bad here, right? I just personally wouldn't rush pipe. What I would prefer to see him do is go with this item earlier that he has here. Like, do I like Blade Man Walls games? No. But the only hero that can kill him when he gets off to a good start is Winter Ranger, period. That's the only hero that threatens him. And so if he buys a Blade Mail, she's out of the question. And all of a sudden, he can just run at whoever he wants and create infinite space. So what he should have done this game is gone hood in the Blade Mail, and then he could have taken over the game because of that. But instead, he goes this Pipe Rush. This item's so expensive. They've made Pipe so much worse, right? If we look it up here, it's 3,400 gold. It is so much more expensive than it was when it was like, what, 2,900 uh, approximately? It is 500 more gold. Uh, the buildup is quite a bit worse, and, and therefore, he just, he could have done so much better if he just went the hood into a blade mail. Because hood is good on Bristle, by all means. Personally, I also don't see why he didn't just go uh, the more common Vanguard. Um, but, you know, the, the, the two bracers into hood is definitely fine. It's it's not the reason why he's losing. I think it's, the whole pipe is completely unnecessary. It's just bad. Let's go to Sniper. Oh my god, two and five. He got worked by this Wind Ranger. Probably a rank thing. No, okay, they're both ancient too. Not a rank thing. What the heck? Oh my god! <clears throat> Headshot and take aim, Max. What? Why would you do that? You can't even farm. Like, the problem with this build is if you don't win your lane with it, you're completely useless. You're so useless because you can't clear any waves. You can't. You just like auto attack, I guess? <laughs> this is so sad to watch. He's just auto attacking stuff. Shrapneling. Oh, oh, I'm ready for this fight. Come on, you have a DD. Go fight. Go, go bottom. What do you mean go kill them with the bristleback? Go stand behind Bristleback and kill them. All right, there's no tower actually, man. <laughs> Dang it, he's dead. Oh, big fight coming in here. Let's watch from the perspective of the life stealer. Oh, is that an RP? Oh, it gets hexed. Yeah, you can't really, you can't skewer RP a lion. That, that doesn't work. But is he, is, he has RP. Why are they standing so close? Why is lion in melee range? Like this is what I mean by support players. Like guys, work on your positioning. What is this? Why is he standing in melee range? Not only that, you're asking to get shackled now. He needs to be standing here. Like, dude, do you want to die? Let's go to the Magnus. This could be a big... He's looking for it. You can see he's looking He's looking for the four staff. Okay, I can respect the solo RP. It's fine in that case. Yeah, I'm glad that he's solo RP. A lot of players will be like, whoa, Magnus. Nah, but like, he controls up that life sealer. He burns out some of the rage and he forces them to overcommit, right? If, if he doesn't force them overcommit there, they don't get that God Shackle. The CM doesn't get a good ulti off. And this is, this is what I mean by, like, why you need to buy tank items. No way! Dude, no way he goes back for Echo Saber. That's so, that's so bad. That's so bad. But let's, let's check this out. So, like, when he gets gone on here, if he doesn't RP, then he dies right here, right? He dies right here. But he RPs, he gets his four staff off because of it as well. And then, all of a sudden, this bristle's like, Ooga booga, I need the kill. And then, because of that, really good shackle. Once again, forcing them to overcommit. No rage. Really good CM ulti. Big stomp. And they're all dead, so... Well played by the Magnus to not panic there, but honestly, he like this is what I mean by if he just bought tanky items, he's not even close to dead in the first place, and he could probably just man up. <laughs> so, yeah, not a huge fan of this mobility build, but getting back into it, it is embarrassing. It is embarrassing that this Wraith King has. Dude, what are you doing? Go hit some creeps! Like, are you kidding me? You are spam pinging an illusion rune. Does he not care about his timings? This is a 20 minute radiance on an ancient player. And he has a Magnus. There is no synergy here. That's what I mean, guys. He needs to be talking to his Magnus this game, saying, Hey, man, can you empower me here? Or, like, farm towards this Magnus. Hey, can you empower me? Blah, blah, blah. Right? 20-minute Radiance with a freaking Magnus? Are you kidding me? What is this play? This is such a bad dive. He should go push in mid, go push in top, and then collapse with this team. This is so inefficient. Like, he's going to get a kill or whatever, but it's terrible. I mean, he is killing them. And his team is on the same page, which is good. Also, this Lifestealer build... 
eh. Eh. I'm not gonna say it's terrible, but like, I'm personally more of a fan of like the Maelstrom route. Dude, there's no synergy in these fights. Like, can someone call a smoke? It's so bad. The major thing I notice within these brackets is that there's there's just no synergy. No one knows how to go on the same page. I don't know why. You guys, work together. And you're probably saying like, oh my god, speed is a pub. I can't do that. Yes, you can. Oh my god, this is a party queue game as well. That's even more embarrassing. Guys, do stuff together. I as Lifestealer trying to solo kill people. You know you have a hero that locks them down, right? If you put one and one together, all of a sudden you get a five. If that made no sense, basically what I'm saying is that 1 plus 1 in Dota does not equal 2. 1 plus 1 when you add 2 heroes together makes you do 5 times the damage. Does that make any sense? I know it's kind of like a weird analogy or whatever, but it's just like, just work together. Right, work together. Same thing here with this Magnus. I don't know, or Wind Ranger. Um, I don't know why, like, this fight is so in- oh, Dragonlance, just buy a BKB. But, I don't know why they're just going in one by one. Like, why is this Wind Ranger flanking, dude? They can see you coming. Who are you flanking? Like, what are you doing? All you need to do is stand in the back, wait like a quarter of a second for your two live Wraith King. Oh my god, why are they taking a fight with Reincarnation on 20 second cooldown? This is what I mean, guys. You can't make these mistakes if you're trying to gain MMR. What is Wind Ranger doing? Why is this guy trying to fight with his ulti on for 20 seconds? Just wait 15 seconds and you'll win the fight. How is that so complex? And now he's dead. <laughs> okay, I'm going to give you guys the understanding of what you're supposed to do instead. Wraith King is supposed to be top. So he pushes in top, right? He's actually top right now. Instead of freaking out that his team is getting gone on, all he has to tell his team is, Hey guys, let's uh, let's wait for my ulti and then group up. That's it. If they go fight without him, okay, whatever. So be it, let it go. Let your team die. It doesn't matter. But like him showing up, why is he spam clicking this haste turn? Just go shove the top wave and then TP to the mid tier one. Like he literally has this mid tier one tower. And this is why mid tier one towers are such a big deal. It's because you can show up to fights, right? It lets you show up to these uh, fights, even no matter where you are on the map. Then what is he doing? Just He could just have farmed a full another item. Like, he could have he farmed, like, a thousand or one thousand five hundred gold. Instead, he shows up to a fight with his ulti on cooldown. Just stop. You have to stop worrying about your team. If my Wind Ranger goes in like a psychopath and kills herself, I don't care. I'm just going to go get my next item, right? I'm just going to go frostbite a creep camp. I'm going to go, you know, like, ET stomp to defend the tower instead. All right, I'm not going to watch the rest of this game. Like, look at this Magnus item build. Man, go copy a pro, dude. Go copy a pro and you'll win. I can't stress this enough. I don't know why people try to innovate by themselves. It's like it's like someone trying to build a business and then they're like, yeah, I'm just too good for Mark Cuban, you know? Like it's like if Mark Cuban gave some guy advice and he's like, ah nah, I don't I don't respect what you've done or I don't care enough to look. If you want to win, and I know some people are probably like, oh, these guys are just playing for fun speed, let them let them live. Sure, but that's not how I am. <laughs> that's not that's not that's not that's not how I live. If I'm playing, I'm all in. I'm winning. But alright, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. They do end up winning, by the way. I'll go to the end real quick. Uh, they eventually build up a lead. I, I would have to imagine this because eventually this Empower Wraith King comes online. And this is why Wraith King wins these pubs, frankly, because no matter how bad you are at farming, or, you know, it doesn't matter because even if you are literally just that bad at farming, you still manage to have two lives and outfarm people because of skeletons. So that's what I mean, guys. Like, this Wraith King should be 25k net worth or 26k net worth or 30k net worth right now. He easily could be if he just didn't stay in lane, right? All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. And by the way, let me know which bracket I should look at next in the comment section down below. I will try to read them. If there's like one that has the most likes, I'll try to pick that one. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one, Peace. Hey guys, uh, do you also want more content from me and other Game League creators that are gonna help you get to the next rank easily? Well, 50% off right now is the deal we can offer. All right, 50% off. As long as you click the link down below, you're gonna get that part of our summer sale. Right, just go over there, you're gonna see the 50% off, sign up, it's an incredible deal. I've been putting in more work than ever on this website, I think the content is gonna help you guys get to the next level faster than ever, and yeah, I hope to see you there. If you're unsure about it, hey, message me on Discord, say speed. Why should I sign up for the Game Leap website? I swear I know a lot of you guys <laughs> just troll me about this, but nah, ask me, I'll talk to you. Go sign up for the website, it's a blast, and we're gonna have a good time this summer.